yes beta very good morning so we are doing a revision now fine as i already told you our syllabus is done uh, yesterday we uh, we have completed poster making of both types so today onwards uh, revision of literature starts okay so poem childhood written by marcus netton fine you can see some points written over here like loss of childhood he is going to talk about in this poem poet tries to find answer of two queries find two questions two queries are there in his mind when did my childhood go and where did my childhood go so this poem is actually an effort to seek answer to two queries fine so in the process of growing up we do not realize exactly when we have lost our childhood okay harman so he uh, dwells upon various possibilities he broods upon he thinks upon he tries to estimate that what are the possibilities that exactly at what point of time i lost my childhood okay uh let me share the screen here for you all wait yes beta can you see the screen is it visible aapke paas book hai fine so students those who are interested kindly uh, join classes tomorrow onwards harman is here with us in class so i would appreciate if most of you will also join physically fine so that makes the difference childhood poem so first stanza when did my childhood go was it the day i ceased to be 11 was it the time i realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography and therefore could not be was that the day so in this poem i told you that he is making speculations that when exactly he lost his childhood firstly he is using the word when so wh questions jo use hue hain it will be replaced with where when he will not be able to find out exactly when okay so the first possibility of the time of departure of his childhood relates to the age okay so side pe likh lo age first stanza ki side pe likh lo age so he is making speculations he relates the loss of his childhood to the number of his age when he had completed the age of 11 so it was then that he developed the power of understanding fine was it the time when he realized that he is able to think uh, that hell and heaven could not be found in geography fine what is geography geography is the study of land area where we can make bifurcations of states cities countries and so on so he is saying when i realized that hell and heaven can never be found on uh geographical divisions and when i became 11 year old when i developed my own understanding was that the day i lost my childhood so first possibility is he relates with age that is when he became he ceased to be 11 fine 11 year old so i have just you can see marked the three stages so first possibility he is associating with age as well as his understanding of uh, geographical concepts that some cooked up stories are not true fine hell and heaven could never be found on geography is that clear beta please make sure you understand it well okay so let let us complete second stanza we have done it but most of you were not there so it's that the way we did it for the first time second stanza now second possibility now when did my childhood go again he is you know using the same question he is stressing upon the same question because he is not satisfied with this answer first possibility so again he asks when did my childhood go was it the time i realized that adults were not all they seemed to be they talked of love and preached of love but did not act so lovingly was that the day the second possibility he relates to the time when he realized the hypocrisy of adults so second possibility is hypocrisy of adults 
they were not all that they seemed to be you know they talked of love they preached of love they give advices of being affectionate but they do not act so loving you see that there are you can say adults who keep on preaching to their kids okay you should speak nicely you should behave nicely you should speak politely but when it comes to their own actions they are having double standards they talk of love they preach of love but they themselves are not uh, acting lovingly so second possibility is awareness about hypocrisy hypocrisy kiski hypocrisy of adults so they talk of love they preach of love but they do not act lovingly clear so second possibility is awareness when the poet marcus nathan is saying please know and uh, you should know the name also marcus nathan so when he realizes that adults are hypocrites hypocrites means the person who have double standards they say something else they do something else their actions and their words do not match they are known as hypocrites fine so awareness about hypocrisy is the second possibility ki when i realized adults are like this was that the day i lost my childhood but yes he is not satisfied once again so he goes to search for third possibility yes children is it clear keep on sending me feedback <coughs> when did my childhood go again he poses the same question because he is not getting the answer fine right? he is trying to find answer of his first query when did my childhood go was it when i found my mind was really mine to use whichever way i choose producing thoughts that were not those of other people but my own and mine alone was that the day so poet again asks the question third possibility he relates to that time when he found that he was the master of his mind he is the sole possessor of his own thinking fine he need not borrow others thoughts when he realized that my brain could be used by me only i have to choose it he could not produce his own thoughts and you know he need not repeat those of others a sense of individuality dawned upon him so this is the third possibility he realized that he is having individualistic approach he has got his own brains he can take his own decisions so a sense of individuality dawned on him d a w n e d he wonders whether he lost his childhood or during one of those days fine so what is the third possibility beta i'm writing on the board as well keep on noting down when sense of individuality dawned upon him point d a w n e d means when he realized that he is different he need not borrow others thoughts he has his own sense of taking decisions fine so clear hai all the three is uh, now let's stay now after getting no satisfied response from himself when he was not satisfied exactly he is not able to find exactly what point he lost his childhood so he changes his question now query number 2 is where did my childhood go fine and again he is uh, he himself you know rhetoric device hai when you ask the question when you give the answer so this is rhetorical device when you ask the question and when you are answering the question also it went to some forgotten place that's hidden in an infant's face that's all i know so poet says in the final stanza poet dwells on the problem dwells on the query where did my childhood go where it has been disappeared on the basis of his limited knowledge he thinks that his childhood went to some forgotten place you know and that place can only be found on an infant infant is newborn baby the poet implies that adolescence follows a childhood in the same way as childhood had replaced infancy it is a stage 
in the process of growing up i do not know anything else whatever little knowledge i have he means to say that that's all i know means whatever little knowledge i have out of which i can extract that my childhood has gone to some forgotten place i don't know what place and that's hidden only on an infant's face infant is newborn baby so what are the process of growing up firstly you are an infant fine then childhood or you can say then adulthood infancy aati hai na ye stage infancy so these are the various <coughs> excuse me <coughs> these are the various stages of growing up process of growing up infancy childhood and adulthood and then old age this is a process so there is no particular point where we can say that where i exactly you know lost my childhood there is no any particular point so with this poet tries to find the answers but he dwells upon the possibilities and he comes to the conclusion that only childhood can be that innocence what is associated with childhood innocence innocence can only be found during infancy on the face of an infant newborn baby this is all whatever little knowledge i have this is the answer to my question clear any doubt to anyone beta now let me ask the questions or related to this yes my question to you is uh, these are the ncert questions which we have done already uh you tell me the question is for all beta it anybody can give the answer how did the speaker realize the hypocrisy of the adults question is not written here because ncert questions we have done already i am asking some extra questions how did the you can say speaker realize the hypocrisy of the adults yes i would like to ask sahajpreet respond immediately if nobody responds child will be marked absent consecutively please yes sahajpreet tell me the answer very easy question it is when did a uh, poet realize the hypocrisy of adults because they are very unpredictable see exact answer i am looking forward to japan preet answer it immediately beta those who will not respond i am not going to mark them present make sure the ones who are listening will respond obviously who would like to answer it raise your hands very easy question ishnur mom he realized when he at the moment when he saw that the adults they preach uh, that they should do the things but uh, those things they haven't done in their entire life there is contradiction actually beta there is contradiction of their words and actions fine answer is that there is direct contradiction between their words and actions they say something else they do something else they talk of and they preach of love they talk of love but they do not act lovingly themselves fine so that shows when then when they uh, behaved like that then poet realizes that there is hypocrisy in this the world of adults yes next question is
what did the speaker learn about the existence of heaven and hell what did the poet or speaker learn about the existence of heaven and hell harnoor beta please answer this the poet says that uh, they always talk about hell and heaven but actually they never exist uh, they can never be found on geography you can mute yourself harnoor right so uh, the speaker uh, you can say notice this thing that hell and heaven can never be found on geography they are not into the divergence of geographical area this is just a cooked up story he realized that you know in this process of growing up in this process of maturity he has realized this thing so he concluded that they did not exist and he would only believe the things which he can see and find himself but not the things which are uh, you can say narrated by others fine next question is the poet has asked two questions one is about the time when childhood lost the other is about the place and why he chose these questions why has he used these questions who will answer this aditi are you there exams are around the corner and you people are taking it very casually otherwise you should come to school then if you are taking advantage of online classes when i ask you to unmute and participate class mein to jo jiska name liya usko answer karna hi padega so if you are uh, taking classes online at least respond otherwise i am not at all going to mark you present take it very seriously yes harman beta you tell me harman is there with us in class you tell why he use these questions and answers also you can discuss it okay i change the question for you questions are written in front of you on the board so why did he choose this question सी बेटा नाउ यू अंडरस्टूड एवरीथिंग है ना आपको समझ में सबको आ जाता है पोएम एंड चैप्टर एंड स्टोरी लाइन इफ आई आस्क यू यू आर एबल व्हेन इट कम्स टू क्वेश्चंस यू हैव टू बी स्मार्ट इनफ टू एनालाइज द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट पोएट हैज आस्क टू क्वेश्चंस वन इज अबाउट टाइम एंड अदर इज अबाउट प्लेस व्हाई हैज ही यूज्ड दीस क्वेश्चंस एक्चुअली ही पॉइंट्स आउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ ग्रोइंग अप हियर that in the process of growing up we are so obsessed we are so busy in our routines that even we do not realize at what point of time we lost our innocence we uh, you know we are not able to find our good days of life fine so that's why uh, he chooses these two questions because he is seeking answers of these questions that at what time he lost his innocence and at what place he lost it Yes, Raghav, you can unmute yourself and speak if you are writing such a big answer in chat box. Please speak, Raghav Dhawan. Ma'am, for poet, childhood seems to be a thing of part, uh, past, and he's uh, he's trying to uh, identify the specific moment when right. he lost his childhood. Yes. So he was asking the uh, questions. Yes, very good, very good, exactly. so yes for him <coughs> for the poet childhood is the you can say uh, past memories only so he's trying to find out where he his childhood has gone so that's why he has chosen these particular questions because he himself is unable to find the point so that's why he changes the query he changes from when to where and then even then he did not have the answer of where where exactly the childhood has been uh, lost so he just uh, says at the end whatever little knowledge i have with by applying that little knowledge i can just conclude that it is lost on an infant's face only now so only infancy is the stage where innocence can be found on the faces and facial expressions of an infant so that's all i know 
बेटा लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू आस्क द आंसर टू दिस बट प्लीज नोट डाउन चाइल्डहुड इज एन असेंशियल स्टेट इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ ग्रोइंग अप राइट डाउन चाइल्ड दिस इज द क्रक्स ऑफ द होल पॉइम जिसमें पूरी पॉइम का डिस्कशन आ जाएगा चाइल्डहुड इज एन असेंशियल स्टेट इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ ग्रोइंग अप बट इट कैन नॉट गो ऑन फॉर एवर डिस्कस this is uh, your knowledge now this is not something related to the poem yes you have to refer to the poem but you have to write in your own words childhood is an essential state in the process of growing up but it can't go on forever discuss clear so in in your own words you have to speak here like childhood you know is very important stage in the process of growing up human uh, in as an infant we are totally dependent upon our parents fine uh, then tiny baby grows bigger and bigger and other faculties also start developing and we do not even realize when exactly we become smarter than before we start doing our tasks on our own without the help of our parents and in that process of growing up we loss you know we lose our innocence somewhere we start that hypocrisy we start doing whatever is prevailing in the society fine and in that process we lose our innocence and childhood so there is no exactly point he we people we start having rationalism we start having practical approach we are able to differentiate between hypocrites and non hypocrites we are smart enough to apply our own knowledge so on the basis of poem hi aapne likhna hai but in your own words fine so uh, finally we do not realize that exactly at one at what point we lose our childhood so in this question you will mention that any doubts to anyone plus one b you can ask me is it clear please send me thumbs up jaldi se